Bonjour Atius. Hello everybody. So today is the day where I have now posted 72 videos on YouTube. 71. Something like that. Over 70 videos on YouTube and I have been making videos every day since I've gotten here. That sounds like a lot, and it has gone by so fast. I am kind of floored by seemingly how long I've been here. It's been two and a half months. I am pretty much halfway through my semester here, and it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I just got here still, and I'm still trying to figure everything out. And I've been thinking it's because of a bit of a lack of routine. Now, this sounds weird, but it looks like I have a routine, and I do. I have classes every day at the same time. Nothing changes that way. However, because Action Francais has gotten an influx of students and had to change stuff around, I am looking week to week where I'm supposed to be because they've changed classrooms on us. So it feels like I'm always changing something and I think that's why I haven't been able to process just how long I've been here. I I'm going week from week and then something changes. And I've only just started my volunteering. Tomorrow will be my third time uh, teaching English. And for some reason, it seems like I've only just gotten started, but my professors at Accent Francais are already talking about the end of the year. And I'm sitting here, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, I just, I'm now just getting used to where I'm eating every day, what I'm doing in mobility in general. Uh, um, um, what? Excuse me? <laughs> End of the year? We're talking about final exams? We're right now? Really? It, it's March. And then I look at the date, and it is Pi Day. It is March 14th. My program ends exactly two months from now. Yep. I am going home in exactly two months. It sounds like a long time, but it's already been two months. And 14 days, or 10 days, if you want to get technical, and usually I do, which is strange as I'm not quite a math person, science person, hmm. who knows, maybe I am a math and science person that was kind of shoved out of it, <laughs> I don't know, maybe because I didn't want to like it, I didn't want to do it, that's not the point, point is, this is my... 71st video on YouTube and I am starting to realize that none of this feels real yet <laughs> and it's been two months <laughs> none of this feels quite real it's such a shift from what I'm used to doing on a daily basis I I'm away from pretty much everything I knew. And even the person in the group that I knew before, we didn't spend a lot of time together at Elon at all. I wouldn't have considered him a real friend before this. I would have considered him an acquaintance, a classmate. Right now I think we're moving closer towards friends. I'm not, we don't really hang out much. We don't really hang out much, but when we do, it's a good experience. 
I am, I don't, I feel completely cut off sometimes from my American life. Like I have an American life and I have a French life and they're completely separate. There is no bridge. And it's so strange because that is exactly what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a way to connect back to America, to my life there. And maybe it's more for the people back home as a bridge than it is for me. It, I just got off the f Skype with my mom and we talked about what I'd been up to and I told her basically, hey, I'm doing this and it's great. I love being here. And I do, I love it here. It's beautiful. It's now warming up because it's March. The spring equinox is like a week-ish away. I'm excited. I love equinoxes. I don't know, there's, it's the balance thing. I love balance. And it just, it's not quite real yet. It's not real. And I don't know if that's, because I'm in this kind of strange, it's not really strange to study abroad, but I'm in this situation where I am in a completely new pool of people. And I will admit my circle is smaller than usual because I don't know if I can consider any of the people in my group a true friend. I don't make friends easily at all. At all. It takes time and I have to decide that I want to be your friend. There are people I'm opening up to. There are people I hang out with and it's great. There are certain... I have no problem with any of the people in our group. It's not like I'm sworn enemies with them. No. It's very warm. I just wouldn't think that they are the people I would go to when I'm freaking out about something. They are not who I think of when I need help. And that, is, for me, is an indicator of who is in my friend group and who is not. I don't think I can consider any of these people in my close friend group. There hasn't been enough time. Not enough time at all. And... I'm a bit of a loner anyway, as you saw two videos ago. I don't necessarily... How to put this? I am someone who takes a while to make friends. I am someone who is now cut off from my usual support group. I don't talk to my friends in America very often and I'm thinking it's perhaps because I divided my life this way. I have my life here and I have my life there and there is no bridge. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Especially now since it's getting much more stressful and I need to have more than ever, people who support me. And I have them. I absolutely have them. I haven't been using them, and that's stupid. Today's video is, this is why I've been an idiot. I need to reach back out to people. I need to reconnect myself with reality, because that hasn't been happening all that often, and I know it. And I need to get myself together because it's only going to get harder. And this is more of a purge my thoughts, get them together, get them logical again, because I've been daydreaming a lot and that is when I know I'm stressed. When I sleep a lot, a lot, a lot, I'm stressed. It's an escape mechanism. When I am daydreaming constantly, the way I have been, I'm stressed and I need to do something about it. I can't 
dissociate because that is my go-to like you saw yesterday that is where I feel most in control when it's not real and that's ridiculous I need I need to do something about that so starting now I'm going to I'm going to go to bed get good rest I'm going to teach David English tomorrow I'm going to go to my class at the university I'm going to listen I'm going to do well and I will take it one day at a time with a to-do list because writing things down helps me even if I don't read it again it stays in my mind better and I will get through this I'm going to reconnect with people starting tomorrow because I need that even a hermit like me needs to reconnect lesson learned I hope you guys are having a good day I hope you guys remember that no one is completely alone not even those who want to be so with that in mind have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you tomorrow as per usual au revoir bye everybody